Welcome back. Here we are with episode 11 of Crown Trigger, heading into the forest maze. I'm Adrian. This is Roxy. And this is Zombie. And we're jumping right into a random encounter. Gold Eaglet. Are those birds in a suit? Snazzy helps. Or is that their <laughs> armor? I think that's just the current coloration. But if you do enough damage to them, they do turn red, so who knows? Huh. Now they're red eaglet. And they get some fire magic. Ooh. Well. Not that's unexpected. <laughs> Gone. But if you damage them fast enough, you can kill them before they transform. So they're weak to ice because they're fire? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm not sure if they're weak to it or if it's just a really powerful spell. Oh. I wasn't really paying attention to the numbers. So this place is more linear than it looks, especially if you just follow the footsteps everywhere, but just following the footsteps means that you're going to miss out on a lot of chests, so I'm going to run to every corner of the place. Because you can't leave a chest unopened. Gotta get all those chests. I swear to god, if we come across those secret mysterious boxes that we can't open, I will be so mad. <laughs> Holy, Holy shit! shit. A winged ape? What the fuck? There he goes! <laughs> and that berserk ring thing is the best. The best. The rage band? Yep. Yeah. Still handy even now. Is it possible to get another one to give it to Ayla? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure another one comes up. And speaking of Ayla, she just learned a new tech there. We got a dual tech with Chrono. Oh, food. Of course. Drill kick and rollo kick. Of course. No, Kiwalas, don't help him. No! <laughs> so first, let's take a look at Kiss. What? What? <laughs> I don't know. It's an HP heal that also heals some minor status effects. <laughs> yeah, I bet it does. Yeah. <laughs> Did he just put There's his giant? Kick. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. It looked like the winged ape put his hand <laughs> on her face and was like, "Bye, Felicia." <laughs> Different series. And here's Rillo Kick. Oh, duh, oh, Drill Kick. <laughs> oh. Cool. Rillo Kick is pretty rad. Just go yeah. flinging across this area. I do like Drill Kick for being yet another way of harnessing the power of spinning. <laughs> Cat attack. Yep. Wait, did she just kiss everyone? And like I mentioned before. Oh, uh, what were you saying? She just did she kissed, just kissed herself. everyone? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Including herself <laughs> to heal her own wounds. <laughs> Truly a cat. <laughs> Truly a cat. <laughs> That's good. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so like I mentioned before, Ayla doesn't pick up magic herself, so don't need to take her back to Specchio to move her beyond two techs. Does that mean she gets more non-magic techs? Uh, yep, she gets uh, all physical attack or utility type techs. Nothing energy like, so she doesn't. So while she's technically shadow element, it doesn't really come out in any of her moves that I can think of offhand. Huh. All of her techs so then... are pretty much physically themed or utility themed. And that means she doesn't get dino magic? So then maybe Frog Knight? Uh, she does not get dino magic. And what was that, Roxy? So does that mean that maybe Frog Knight? Are you just going in a circle? That maybe Frog Knight gets yeah, I... a... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you were right, though. I missed a chest up there that I saw, so I had to run back and get it. Sorry. <laughs> but as I what was saying... Does that mean... <laughs> the third time. Does that mean Frog Knight gets shadow magic? 
It's water. Uh, frog knight is water element. You might remember. Yeah. Same well, as Marl. shit. Ice water. <laughs> All right, so there's one more person that possibly has shadow magic. Christ. <laughs> or shadow magic, out. just sort of like the kind of magic tag for people who don't really have magic. I guess. Just so far, that's what it's been used for. Oh. Yeah, what if that's actually what it just is? The absence of magic. The void. The void. So that's my ability for sure. The void. <laughs> So what actually is ether in this game? I might have asked this before, but I'm pretty uh, sure it's not like medical ether because you die if you drink no. that. <laughs> no, 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 tonics no, it... are the health ones, right? And ether is for mana? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And they're both basically potions. Right. Just different kinds of potions. Where did that name ether come from? Do you know? Okay. I in, don't like, actually know. It's in a couple. Like, Pokemon uses it for, like, yeah, it's, a mana it's restore. Yeah, it's pretty... It's another one that's pretty traditional by now, but I don't actually know where it originally came from. In that sense, at least. It probably came from medicine, I imagine, but I don't know how the connection to magic came about. That's the whole place, just need to head around to get to the end. Maybe it has to be, like, alchemical? That might be it, yeah. And literally, as soon as I left the place, I noticed that I missed this vine here, so I could have just gone straight down. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh well. So we're through the forest maze and to the reptite lair. First, we should heal up and save. And let's look through what we've got so far as it is. Key items aren't split out in this game, they just get thrown into your inventory. So you can see some of the ones we picked up there, the bike key, the pendant, the dreamstone, and a bunch of accessories. And if we had the gate key, we'd even see it in the inventory. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these guys. Although here they're a bit more creative than they were back in Hecron's cave. Because what these guys do is they drill down the floor as they wander around, creating holes in different parts of it that lead to different parts of the dungeon. Huh. Where they dig the hole actually decides what room you end up in when you go through the hole. That's pretty neat. Yeah. And is that the only way to go down? Yep. If you're digging in the wrong spot, you can interact with them to stop them. So I spent a little bit of time just waiting for them to dig holes in specific places that I was hoping for, but it doesn't really end up working out, so I'm going to be sitting here for a little bit. But I don't—I think I cut away from most of it. Yep, there we go. And same thing here. Those guys, if they drill down, you can go down a different part of the dungeon than the hole that's already there. Pretty neat dungeon, I think. Yeah. If a little bit RNG based. Yeah, it's kind of annoying because you end up waiting forever for it. Um, like, even this is taking a while. And. Yeah, I left it in because you can hear someone drilling somewhere in another room. Completely unrelated to this one. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I think pretty soon I got away from this one too, but I ended up waiting here about five, ten minutes for them to actually drill, and they never did. Yeah. So I just ended up giving up. And eventually, there we go. <laughs> evil, evil, evil. Those plants, man. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, you know, back in the prehistoric days, everything wanted to kill you. What the fuck? <laughs> oh! Yeah. Some monsters will actually drain health from other monsters in battle. That was a bit creepy. Yeah, a little bit. I guess drinking nectar is not Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I interpreted it as, but the noise is creepy in yeah. the yeah. animation and, for it. And plus it's actually damaging the other enemy as well, so... Yeah. Stop well, that! I guess it works out, because the evil evil seems a lot tougher than, like, the fly trap. Yeah. Like, the fly trap took, about 200 physical damage, as opposed to 69, or something, something like that. Like evil, so. Yeah. A lot thicker of a carapace to get to, yeah. probably. Better be delicious inside. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like a big crawdad, so I'd have to imagine it would be. It's kind of like that one scene from Emperor's New Groove. And something I wanted to show the here, by bone. the way, is is that other people that aren't in your party still level up as you go through. So Luca, you saw, was level 17, <laughs> even though we've been using Marl for a while. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yes. So you don't have to worry about balancing party levels or anything like that. Techs, you don't get tech points, so you do have to use people to get new abilities. But in terms of just stats, you can just use whoever you want. Do you have to fight them to jump down the hole? Yeah, when you use the hole, then it triggers a fight with the enemy in this room. And in the previous room. Oh. So you can't just run past them. Oh. Unfortunately. Hello, proto buttheads. <laughs> Try to get this chest, we trigger that guy oh and this thing. Oh shit, okay. Ooh. It's a Pokemon. <laughs> Megasaur. <laughs> well. Hmm. Huh. That didn't seem very mega. Well, you yeah. haven't seen his ultimate form yet. This is true. Pretty tough defense wise, though. Is he coming in for the big hit? Seems like it, so let's stop him in his tracks. Oh. Lightning shock stuns, or as they say, stuns it. Yep. <laughs> stuns it, they can't move, and their defense goes down a huge amount. Okay. It'll, it'll eventually wear off, but usually not quick enough for you to have any trouble with them. Okay. Just be right. Yep. A full aether. Good twitch movement there on that. I'm getting out of that fight. <laughs> These guys. And a mushroom? Oh! A oh. shiitake. <laughs> a shiitake mushroom. Yep. And when you fight them with the shiitake mushroom in the battle. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and that moves the mushroom around. Yep. <laughs> Does the mushroom then have like area effect things? Or? Uh, it doesn't actually do much besides be a projectile for the wing game, unfortunately. Oh, that's what's up. But I think that is something that will happen down the line. Oh. Wow, something she... like that. She did that much damage. Yep, she's tough. So this room here is if you want to be super completionist and go back up to the start of the dungeon to go through every possible path from the holes, <laughs> but I'm not going to bother with that. <laughs> so he doesn't just throw the mushrooms of the party members, he still throws party members of the party members. <laughs> super Well, you know, he's throwing a temper tantrum. So. Yeah. 
I like that she jumped on the mushroom. <laughs> that does look nice. And yeah, just sitting here, you can see that they're not actually doing anything. So I take a chance to do a little bit of healing and see what happens if you just wait around with them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, what is the Megasaur's big attack that he was walking in for? Uh, just a big physical attack. Oh. Yeah, yeah nothing special, unfortunately. Got a save point, you can probably guess that means the boss is coming up. Especially when it's a save point that appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. Seems logical. What's this? <laughs> Those apes. That's what was asked. Wait, so they know? Yeah. Remember, they stole the gate key from us. True, true, true. But they think we're just prehistoric idiots like the rest of the humans. At least compared to the reptites. Mm -hmm. What happens if you do tell him what the you do? He doesn't believe you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what a dickhead. But does it have consequences? In this case, unfortunately, I don't think it does. I think it's just a joke. An actual Here's dinosaur! Nisbell. Fucking hell. The beefiest fucking Triceratops. <laughs> fucking... You mean they weren't like that before? <laughs> I don't think they were quite they had quite that much upper body strength. But this was I've always thought they looked like this! <laughs> Mick beefy! <laughs> And yeah, we can see his defense pretty much impenetrable when he's not shot. So, gotta do what we do with all dinosaurs. So it seems like he can still act when shot, so. Or if he's move around, yeah. Move around, at least, yeah, but he hasn't really been doing anything, so I think he's disabled. Hmm. Nice. Well, until this. Ooh, wow. Yep. After enough time, he lets off the electric energy you used to stun him with. That's cool. Yeah. But the boss itself is pretty simple, unfortunately. All you do is stun him, do as much damage to him as you can, heal up after he does electrocution energy. Mm -hmm. Not really much interesting here. And since this fight will go on for a while, maybe we can take the chance during the fight to talk about some of the other ideas you might have been having about what's going on. Any thoughts from what we've been seeing? Any new theories? Well, I have I have already jumped into theory that the reptites became the mystics, mystics. or whatever they are. Yeah. They seem somewhat similar, they seem to have more use of magic, elemental things. Yeah, they seem and... definitely more advanced than the prehistoric humans, obviously. Plus, the most of the mystics don't really seem all that primate -ish. In fact, actually, now that I think about it, there's a lot of reptile-like stuff in them. Oh. The imps kind of look reptile-ish, the, the Diablos-type things, the guys that spin in place, and then the snakes Even the, the wizard! That wizard guy that we fought uh, back at the bridge, right? And who ran away? Uh, Ozzy? Ozzy, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he, he had kind of a Frogish look to him, something like yeah. that. I think he had a kind of uh, shamelessly ripped from King Boo. King Boo? <laughs> King Kai, I think. King Kai, yeah, famous. sorry. Yeah, shamelessly ripped from King Kai, look about him. <laughs> More than anything else. So, okay, so does that mean Lavos is a prehistoric god? If this well, era is also available to us, then we're jumping to every point in time where, like, there had to be some intense worship of Laos, right? Or whatever? 
Well, we don't really know what it is that's causing the gates yet, so it could be that something like that is going on, and we just haven't seen Lavos's um, involvement in this time yet. I'm still trying to understand what's the importance of Marl's necklace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at this point, we know that it triggered the gate, and we did see in the alternate time on the trial sequence that Melkor is really interested in it. And it means that those gates have existed before. If it, it like it made the gate open, but it didn't necessarily create it, right? Well, yeah, because um, normally the other gates we've seen they were just floating in the air, but that one did seem to just come out of nowhere. It might have just been like revealing it to us. Yeah, because like the old man back in the end of time area, he's like, <laughs> many people have been passing through this or something, which makes me suspicious yeah. that there is. Like, there are other people who have time traveled, maybe? It, it would certainly imply that. And we've got pretty good evidence at this point that Melkor is one Mel of them. Melkor, yeah. Melkor, Melkor. Mel yeah. I'm not obviously not sure how Bad you guy. Bad guy. <laughs> but, like, he won't even say anything? All he was- all he said was like, Oh, the Dreamstone hasn't been- hasn't been around for a while. Yeah. Oh. And... You'd think if he was a time traveler, he would realize the implication of us having the Mazamune as maybe we're also time travelers. Oh. And also, if he, you know, if he was a time traveler as well, then surely he could just go back and get the Dreamstone himself. Yeah. But maybe he doesn't have the necklace. Uh, the key to open it, maybe. Wait, that is, is that why? Wait, was he the guy who asked for it? He was the one that told us about the Dreamstone. No, no, no. That we the needed it to fix the, the sword. guy at the fair who asked for the necklace. Oh, yep, same guy. So maybe that's why he had asked for it. That could be. That what if he's sense. what if he's stuck in that time and that's why he wanted it? But then he was like, "Well, actually, never mind." So then he has to know what happens after or something. Mm -hmm. That he knows the importance of it and that's why he can't have it. That would make sense. Did he just put down a bomb? Nope, that's the gate key. That's the gate key. Okay, I yeah, <laughs> I was caught up in my theory that I didn't read what was going on. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Yeah, we haven't. We only saw it like once when Luca was holding it earlier. Anyway, so. Mm. <laughs> I like her. Really? This whole time? <laughs> really? Luca, you got Thanks, fucked Luca. up. I learned a lot from you while I wasn't with you, waiting here <laughs> for my friends to come back. Well, she was at the party. She got yeah. fucked up. <laughs> party. That boy's rough. Party, eat, dance, fight, fun. So, yeah. the, three the, really Fs, the three Fs. The three Fs. Yeah, I, there was a dialogue box that opened that as soon as I left. Thought I could trigger it again. I have no idea what it would have said. Oh well. I mean, we can't bring her with us yet. Good. Nope. Well, she's a chief. Do the frog thing. She has to do the job. Yeah, she's got to be here for the villagers. Someone needs to keep the reptiles from attacking them. Mm. Yeah, you gotta... You have to give her a bigger cause, I think, in order to get her to leave. The same thing with Frog Knight. Frog Knight won't leave until that sword is repaired for whatever reason. Yep. Oh. But thankfully, it's probably going to happen pretty soon now. You know, this guy, with the way that he lo his sprite looks, he just looks like a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of see that, yeah. A puppy in also, a crown. I think I just realized... If the sword is made out of dreamstone, and, you know, there's not enough around to repair it, how did Melkor get enough to to build it, make it in the first place? That's a good question. That's what I'm saying, like, is he- like, I don't think he could originally be from this time? Or maybe hmm. he is, I- I mean, how long would it take for him to learn how to speak a full sentence? <laughs> Unless he's secretly a dinosaur? Oh my oh. god. <laughs> so, gotta get into this gate. Gotta fall Only in. do it. Yep. I hope it doesn't preserve your momentum. 
<laughs> right? Right? What are the physics in the wormhole? <laughs> None, apparently. Alright, old man, give up your secrets. Oh, they gotta heal up first. The rare red rock, Tata and the Frog. No! <laughs> the Masamune, <laughs> Tata and the Frog. Footsteps follow. <laughs> the original three. I always like doing that in games, I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, Milk here, give it up. Give it up, give it up, let's go. Then. you possibly do? Oh yeah, isn't her dad like a blacksmith or something? He's an engineer. Engineer, like, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, well, let's watch and see what she can do. Shake her head at it, apparently. <laughs> it's part of the process. You gotta doubt yourself first. <laughs> or maybe she's looking really quickly between the two. So wait, so he knows there are beings in it. Like Masamune is two people, two spirits, two gods. If he's connected to making it, he must know something about that. I mean, I don't think you'd make a sword that's actually too. He absorbed it into his things. body. He <laughs> spat it out. <laughs> Really complicated work. She too took it within herself and spat it out. <laughs> Is it gonna make the sword red? Just out of curiosity. Oh, we'll see in a bit. For a second, I thought you were gonna cut the video right there. <laughs> like, what a dick! Oh shit, is it getting- Oh shit! Ooh! Yes. This is the Masamune. Was the dream one just for the handle? Don't fucking touch uh, it! It was to bind the blade. The blade itself is made out of it. So I guess it's more of a metal than a literal stone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably like, uh, I think, like, uh, there are, like, d can't people make, like, metal out of, like, Comet? Like a meteor or something like that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's like iron asteroids. Yeah, yeah, you have to refine the ore kind of thing. Yeah. Meteor Smelt iron. it. If if Meteor you iron, that's what it's called, yeah. Purify the ore sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be an asshole for a little bit. Also look at holding up that sword. It was bigger than she was. Yeah. God damn. So oh oh are we gonna go to the frog night now? Yep. How do you think he'll react to seeing the sword back together? I don't know. He looked really upset, so maybe he'll be happy? He'll cry tears of joy. Or maybe and then he'll join just us cry. and be our buddy. Here's uh, open. And then join us and be our buddy. These fucking frogs continue. And this asshole continues. Wait, why was he running away? I tried to get in a battle with it, get caught out of the way too quick. Okay. But, yep, every once in a while, one of those things will show up in this forest. And run away? You can fight him if you're fast enough, but yep. Okay. Did you get anything for it? Or what? Uh, you get the same stuff as in the hunting range, I think. Except for the prehistoric trading items. Huh. Frog Knight, love us. To see again.
Okay. I mean, if you're the knight in my damp soil cave under a bush. Oops. Dating time start. The frog king? Cyrus. The frog king. The metal. But Frog Knight's not the Frog King. Is he? Well, if this is Cyrus. Oh, wait, Cyrus, so this is the past. past. Okay. Yep, this is a flashback. So, could it possibly be that the metal tick was cursed? Or the Frog King cursed him in some way? Oh, he's kind of big. The knights at the square table, fucks it. <laughs> and they fucked it up, Cyrus. They fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this asshole? Who is this? Who is this? Glenn. 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 <gasps> Wait. Oh my god. Nagas. Shit, what's the color of uh, Frog Knight's cape? Uh, <laughs> you know I don't remember offhand. Fuck. Hollywood. Okay. Either Cyrus turned into the Frog Knight. Dark green. Or Frog Knight is Glenn. I'm calling it right now. That's a double call. You have to call one or the other. Or the per the other person that's behind Glenn. One of those three. <laughs> beware of Glenn or beware Glenn. Wait, Cyrus had Oh yeah, Cyrus did have the Rasamune. The twins were saying. And it just shattered from the sound of it. Shit. Oh hey, it's the dude! There's Ozzy. Shit. And so that must mean that up there... It's the bad guy. It's the big bad. The Magus. The big bad. He's the guy who's trying to summon Lavos, right? Yep. Oh my god, Glenn, you're pathetic. He's gonna die! Glenn, Glenn is probably the reason why Cyrus is dead. Have we seen Magus before in person? Because I can't remember. Nope, just statues of him. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's probably no match without the sword. Wow, this is really sad. Wow. <gasps> oh my god. That's the sickest thing ever. Dude. Holy shit. Dude, get the fuck out. There's no way he would survive this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Please. Where is he go- Where is he going? <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I should- <laughs> I forgive you. He fell off the fucking cliff. Oh, it is green. Maybe it's not him then. Ten years have passed. But he knows Cyrus. If he had the fucking blue cape, I would have been more certain about it. Awaketh? Awaketh. <laughs> Awaken, awaken, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> oh, Luca. <laughs> but we will, and we have been numerous times. Not again, though. Marl. Marl again. Fuck me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. I was gonna say, you do this just to spite me. <laughs> Frog Knight! Doesn't have the match yet, though. so happy! Oh my god, I forgot! He looks so cute! He's so Wait. happy! He can't get equipped the Masamune. Not letting us. Do you have him something equipped other than the hero medal? Uh, well, not really much reason to have it right now, because its effect is only related to the Masamune. Oh. Well, maybe he'll slurp. It increases the critical hit rate of the sword. Oh. He'll probably whip and it since... out when he needs to, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and since Frog's already pretty good with crits, then it just makes him even better. So, before we go after Magus' lair, we've got some other stuff to do. Frog Knight! First, we can't leave him with just the two texts we saw. Gotta get him some sweet future space out of time magic. Frog Knight! Yep. I'm gonna keep saying his name like that. <laughs> as obnoxiously as possible. <laughs> Marl's having a nice chat. Robo's just standing there. Wow, Specchio, that's that's real culturally advanced of you. Are you gonna find him again another sometime? Yep. Once we get above a certain level, then he'll take on a different appearance, and we'll do another fight then. Okay. Would he look similar or uh, just bigger? Not really. Oh. Oh. So he won't be a Kilwala again. Unfortunately. That's so sad. Now let's take Frog to the present. I wanted to see. I wanted to see a giant, a giant Kilwala <laughs> fight Laos. I was just hoping that he got like. Stayed the same, but got bigger and like uh, scarier looking. Wow, mom! He does get scarier looking. Wow, mom! <laughs> oh, ham, auto figure, our master talks. Mister, it's Mister Frog Knight to you. Frog My name Knight. is Sir Frog. It's Frog Knight. Cat has his tongue. No. <laughs> oh. And back to Tavin. He's my best friend. What the fuck can we do with this? We got ruby vests and shit. <laughs> Still better for Luca. Just how good Tavin is. This one gives us ten extra magic defense. Wow, slow cap, so cap it, so clap it out for tapping. <laughs> and now it's. Look TV at his little cave. sprite moving, it's so cute! 
He's like, no, I'm not even gonna jump that. Punch it. Just cut it in half. Punch it, my friend. Wait, why here? Is this a memory? Oh, it's ta isn't that Tata? That little shit. Oh wait, that's not Tata. I no, hate the word Tata. Longer ago for that. I hate the name Tata <laughs> so much. That is Little Glen. Oh, pathetic. There are times when people simply have to grit their teeth. I suppose. Hide in a bush, my friend. Aww. I really hope there's official art of this tiny glen. Your marshmallow! <laughs> oh dear. Wow, so they really have known each other long. Yep. Yep. This is actually really emotional. Floating downstream. gonna cut the fucking mountain in half then. Is this the full ability of the sword? It's true power only shit! Just shits! gonna cut the fucking mountain shits! in half then. <laughs> he posed! He posed! Next oh time, God. the assault on Magus's lair. I actually cried. I actually have tears like rolling down my face. I do not blame you. I love that entire scene. That Slosh beautiful, Glenn! Beautiful scene. <laughs> mm. So beautiful. What a Cut a mountain in half. Or, at least, cut a cave entrance in one. Yeah. That explains why he <laughs> thought he wasn't worthy, though. Because yeah. if he had had Masamune, he might have been able to take Magus on. Yeah. But because he didn't trust himself to be a knight, Cyrus lost. And because he couldn't even defend Cyrus, he blames himself for Cyrus's death. Not just that, but he also couldn't even live up to Cyrus's last words and protect Lane. That's true, because she, she still got kidnapped or whatever. Yep. Fuck. 
and we did it for him, so I guess he really does want to restore, you know, honor. Yep. My honor. <laughs> He's so cute. Cry. <laughs> Just end the video so I can cry in peace. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the video, and I got their first half. Fuck you. <laughs> Bye. 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 Leave a comment below if you want to tell us something. We said bye! <laughs> well, fuck you. So, too. bye again! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? That is my line! You little shit! <laughs>